Welcome back to some more Mugen Tournament Weapons Only Losers Edition. Here's your next bracket. Place your bets. Pick your favorites. Because they all got eliminated once before. And these two... Uh, I'm kind of glad some of them got eliminated. But now we get to see them try again. Righto. We have Michelangelo versus Kirito. Although, come to think of it, I don't remember which version I used. Probably the non burst one. Now, where, oh, where is he? Where did I leave off in terms of stages? Where's the White House? Where's the suburbs? Why not go to own it? You gotta own it, man. Kirito already going ham. Mikey is unfortunately the weakest of the four when it comes to Mugen. As clearly shown. That sucks. I really ought to update the announcer. I did that once before, and it just didn't turn out to be a very good one. And I can't really find many good ones, unfortunately. Which kinda sucks! Man, Mikey, you are doing nothing. You literally just took your beating. And I was, you were like, nah. Well. Gotta do it again. It's like he's already dead. Not dead enough. If anyone ever was to ever ask me, why don't I go random stages? Because this, I don't want to encounter a stage with copyright, like I said last episode. Shout out to Joel and his incredible music talent. That and just, you know, a really unwanted stages. I just, meh. Not that really any are just bad. There's only one that's really bad. Because the resolution is so screwed up. So, not much I can do about it. I really wish I could fix it, personally. But I don't have the technical know how. Horizontal square. Well, Kirito is in it. Michelangelo was not. Moving forward, we have Siegfried versus Weiss. Luckily, thanks to <laughs> pulling out the select.df, I knew where Siegfried was. Now, Weissy, hey, there you are. How you doing? Are we ready to get destroyed? Because Siegfried ain't good, so it's a battle of warriors in white. And for a burst, she's pretty low level intelligence. She's like the easiest of the of the four. So that's interesting. Although, you know, Siegfried's doing a lot better. I say a lot, but not by much. Oh, she's used her burst already. 
Interesting. Weiss, you are one hit away from death. Bro. Okay, it looks like the timeout rule is going to apply here. So pick your favorites on this one because there will be no second round. I'm calling it now. It's fun. Look, I haven't had an instance of uh, AI unbalance for a while. Same with uh, Space and F1. I technically, if a character does go, has that affliction, I tend to uh, not allow them. Especially Huarang. He's the most floaty one. Other characters tend to break, but it's very rare. I so bad, I just want to press F1 now. Or control F1. Because we're going to have to go into the round three. So. So, how's uh, your day going? Mine's going good. Just a episode of Pokemon Y, and this kind of dates it, because you can tell the description, because I always, at the very bottom, put the recording date. Uh, I just recorded the episode where I beat the hell out of Clement in Pokemon Y. Well, you know, it's good. Though we're starting from one recording onto another. Probably you guys will end up seeing this episode before that one. <laughs> Just probably upload the first episode of this on Sunday. Another Pokemon episode on Saturday. That's kind of my plan for this weekend. So you'll probably end up seeing episode three on a uh, uh, Pokemon Y on Saturday at least. That's good. I'm going a bit slower on this one, just because I powered through Y2, you know? So I want this one to last a little bit longer. Besides, Citra is kind of being a turd right now. No issues. None. Until now. So, that's cool. Oh, uh, so going back to this tournament, um, I'm over this. I can't believe it, but Weiss is going to take it. Like, I was kind of going for Siegfried just to knock Weiss out, but there's no way. I swear to God, if you end up killing him before... Nope. Wow. Cool. Awesome. Weiss advances. <sighs> Whatever. Next, we have Tuna versus... <laughs> Ironically enough, I should have saved the stage not knowing. Um, Robert Cobb, and yes, Barney. <laughs> All right, well, gee, I wonder who's gonna win this. The fact that Robert Cobb actually lost, uh, kind of sad, but you know, Shovel Knight had to get in there. So now we see the other half of Team Justice. Yo, in the last episode I said the redemption rule can't really apply uh, because 
of you know the losers tournament but i was thinking for um when i was doing a friend's choice i was almost contemplating like what if i incorporate it but you know i can't be the one to say it they have to be the one to say it you know but at the same time they'd have to be there everybody all at once being you know they have to be the ones to be there and they have to make the call but for everyone's schedules to match up that i just wasn't really willing to put everyone through that you know if they can make it that's cool i do like uh i just i do ping everybody who's in it and be like you know here we go next episode is in whatever whatever blah 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 so Man, another exciting battle. I felt like this tur this these brackets were gonna be a bit better, but hey, that went over quicker. All right, well, not over yet, unfortunately. Fish with sword versus robot man with gun. I wonder who will win this time. Now you may be thinking. Or questioning why Robert Cop is even in the boss here. Well, he is very aggro when it comes to a human player. I mean, look at all the damage he's doing to Tuna. It could also be because Tuna has weak defense. But, you know, he is a huge pain. Okay, don't know what you said. Can either one of you two idiots do something, please? Good round. Wow. Way to drag this out. Wow, tuna loss. Okay, wow. <laughs> All right, whatever. Um, Robert Cop, you advance. Wow, shocker. Right, cool. Uh, right. Oh, man, we're only about halfway now. Christ. Um... If I remember correctly, I put Lunk. Oh no, he's actually still up here. Okay, I thought he was down on the boss tier, but no, it is now uh, May, actually, versus Lunk. Alright, more Joel. Yeah, this is why Lonka needs to be in, bo in boss characters at this point. This man has like no launch, or can't be launched, almost has no stun. His combos just interrupt yours. He takes priority. He can even start before the match actually begins. Like, there's a reason why I ban certain characters. 
Why not get rid of them? Because I want them in my roster. They're just not going to be applicable. Simple. Yeah, she can use Burst, but she's choosing not to use it. Wow, Monk's having a uh, aneurysm attack going on. <laughs> All right. My boy, this piece is what all true warriors strive for. See, but at least as soon as his move connects to you, you know you can move as well. So that's cool. Yeah, yeah. Death. Kill. Mary Day. Maim. Don't, don't do, don't do that. <laughs> wow, wow, wow. <laughs> oh yeah, and apparently he likes to defy gravity. Cause that's fair. No, it's not worth a kiss, you butt. Man, May had no chance. That kind of sucks. But hey, Monk wins. Great. All right, so next we have. God, am I even gonna be able to find this chick? Yes. Uh, Pink Ranger versus Tager, which will be interesting because I believe this is a different version of Tager. Or if it's the same one, I don't remember. It doesn't matter. I'm gonna do that because copyright, so. The first actual skip. Well, goodbye, Pink Ranger. It's been real. And again, ignore the uh, character icons. I tried really hard to put in new ones or fix them. When a character, when somebody uploads a, a, um, a character and the portrait slash icons are fucked, I have to be the one to fix them. Icons are usually the hardest ones because they don't work very well. And I mean, case in point. So, it's not for the lack of me trying. That is what happens when I try. Fire Factory is like, just a cock sometimes. No surprise. Just, just, this is not a surprise. I'm surprised the amount of uh, damage she was actually able to accomplish. Oh, and 68. I'm sad. Not it's close. But not close enough. I had another version of the stage, but I didn't really like it too much, so I took it out and kept the music, but, uh, yeah, I just played with this one. It actually has animations. Pretty nice. Just, just, just on a racetrack, just so you know the fact there are people beating each other to death. You know how it goes. Just, uh, just a normal day. God, the next one's gonna be so boring. I just know it.
you know, come to think of it, I should maybe do a, a Losers of uh, French Choice as well. But, you know, well, I mean, we'll see. I kind of want to go in a row right now. I'll do, um... I'll do weapons only, then I'll do fist only, and then maybe I'll go back to French Choice. Right, so Tager won, no surprise. Right, alright, moving forward. We have, mm, like I said, I don't know how this is going to go, Death Adder. Yeah, for those who know, Death Adder is very slow and incompetent compared to a human player where he's more smart, here he's dumb. R versus Mitsurugi! Fun. Um, case in point. Funny how, yes, he's a boss character. But it's an instance of he doesn't like to act like one. I'm surprised Mr. is actually doing something. Consider me shocked. These two are kind of even. Well, Death Adder is currently in the lead. What's it? It's it's moments like this is why I even have those rules. So instead of calling yourself a death adder, we should probably just call you time waster. Congrats. I mean, if it wasn't for. I'm almost wanting to just kill both of these guys and just do a dice roll on the next fight. Just so it's like, you know. I, I don't know, man. I, I don't know. These two characters are... I don't know. Death Adder advances. <laughs> Uh, I'm not going through. I'm not going through another round of that. Um, e if even then he might advance, I don't know. I might do a dice roll and see what I do next. Because honestly, whoever wins, Tager is gonna beat the shit out of. You know. So uh, uh fuck it. Whatever. Um. So next we have Biken. Who is also just under a boss tier versus Orie, a champion? All right, bitch fight. <laughs> All right, it's really hard to say who I want to win. I mean, Orion's already won, so clearly I'm on bike inside for this one. So it's literally under night in birth versus guilty gear. Finally, a good match. Oh shit, Mikan's struggling, and there it is. In hindsight, it's probably not a great idea having champions in this tournament when they've already won, but like, I kind of wanted to see who carried who, and clearly it was Nika, but, you know. I wanted to put Ori against someone who I would pretty much assume she'd go end up going up against, but here it is later on. 
It's going as well as I pretty much thought. I mean, Ori is beating the shit out of Biken, but I'm hoping Biken actually catches up. And... Uh, so close! God damn it. Well, it's only round one. Match one, anyway. Still got another one to go. Nice. I did quite a lot. Does she only have one arm or something? Alright, well, Biken's finally catching up. <laughs> Don't touch me, but yet, you know. Oh, her super got cancelled! Finally, the most riveting match of the whole episode. Alright, Biken took that one. Now it's one to one. Finally, we're getting somewhere. Uh, I gotta skip those two, and we'll just go to Spike Club. Who wants it more? Oh, damn. Clearly Biken does. Oh. Did she just get perfected? Like, just no break in that combo. Yes! Right, so I don't know what happened with Ori during the that first round. Or she actually won. And it's over! Ori just can't compare. Right, one more to go. We have King De De De. How are you want to call him? Versus Yasuke Hanamura. He's around here somewhere. Fat Penguin Man or Wannabe Ninja? What are you doing? I can't believe King Didi is actually, Persona. 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 wow, he's actually winning? I'm shocked. A lot of nopes. I mean, look at all that damage he's taking. Miyosuke's not doing anything. Nope. 
Wow. That's a bit of a shock to me. I guess we're going to the uh, Street Fighter uh, stages. This is a lame entrance, even for me. What the hell? Oh, fuck, I got cut off. Persona! Come! Persona! Persona! Damn! My life flashed before my eyes! Man, I love how you just stand there. It's nothing, but yet you're doing nothing. Wow, D the damage. That was quick. <laughs> All right, well. King DDD takes it. Surely you just in. All right. Halfway through the tournament. And I got a lot of work to do. So until then, I will see you guys in the next one.